The twins are arriving two months early. Their lungs are not yet fully developed, so the first minutes of life are critical. They must be kept warm in plastic while the team makes sure that they can breathe. As soon as they're stable, the boys are taken to intensive care. They'll need to stay in the neonatal unit until around the time of their original due date, eight weeks from now. Oh, Phyllis will make you cry. They won't go home until they've mastered the three skills needed to survive outside the womb. Stay warm, breathe and feed. The twins are now nine days old and have names, Jacob and Jack. It's just amazing to see how far they've came. Um, they're doing really, really well. They're getting stronger and better every day. The journey of a premature baby through the unit is one of progress and setback. For every two steps forward, there's usually one back. Hi, thank you. It was on uh, about 11 o'clock last night. Yeah, 11 o'clock last night. Twins Jacob and Jack are back in intensive care with very worrying symptoms. Both babies have had blood in their stools and their feeds have been stopped. Their sudden return to intensive care is distressing to mum, Danielle. Everything's going on around about you and don't know what's happening really. You just go into automatic panic, worry. It doesn't matter what anybody tells you, I think. I think you just let them tell you you're better. You don't feel settled in your shell. Twins Jacob and Jack haven't had any symptoms of NEC for over a week. They're out of intensive care and back on track. Wondering what's happening. Today, they're both leaving their incubators and will finally be reunited for the first time since they were born four weeks ago. Four weeks feels like a lifetime, but it's been in so quick as well. It's, it's crazy what's happened in the last four weeks, but this is another milestone, obviously, for us, so a double special day, a double special day. Get to meet your brother and get to be in a big boy cut. Yeah. <laughs> Dying again. Are they there? That's class, isn't it? <laughs> what have they been like? They've been fine, they've been dead content. Have they? Mm -hmm. Danielle and Peter don't know if their twins are identical. Pregnancy scans couldn't tell them for sure. Seeing them together for the first time in the twin cot will give them a clue. When they were in their incubators, they looked more alike, but when you actually see them like lying next to each other, I don't think they're as much alike. I can't believe how good they look in there, that's brilliant. Mm. Twins Jacob and Jack are only two weeks short of their original due date. They have one last milestone to pass. Until this morning, they've been fed through a tube to the stomach. If they can master the art of sucking milk, they'll be allowed to go home. Hopefully. That's them now, and they'll take their bottles, okay. and we'll be able to start working towards home. Okay. 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 Um, so, like, when roughly do you think then if we get all the? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is that, okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I was quite expecting like tomorrow. <laughs> um, we didn't get our hopes up, but 
obviously, but then coming in and seeing them this morning without their feeding tubes and they're just doing so well, I think, and we thought we'd still had another couple of weeks left. I just can't believe it. It's been a long, long road for it, aren't we? Danny been up every day for the last what, nearly six weeks for at least, I don't know, eight hours, nine hours a day, at least, up here every day. I mean, it's, 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 it's the nice day and all that, but it just gets to a stage where you're just dying to get them home. I'm looking forward to showing them off, people seeing them and things like that as well, you know what I mean? Just people who hasn't seen them yet and just photograph them and things like that. See you later on. Thank you. Thanks again, Dave. Thank you.